Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to make 3D masks. I know, I know, I'm sorry. It seems like I probably is a little too late, but I will tell you what happened. At the beginning, I didn't want it to make the video because so many videos are around, but because I did another video on TikTok and it blew up and everybody asked me to sell them on Etsy because I was just selling masks in my town. You know, like everybody says that they are the favorite mask and I feel kind of sorry because I didn't make a video about it for you guys and because it's still mask will stay for some time I think I owe you guys a nice video we will have everything about masks from the beginner to professional masks so stay with me so this is my fabric and this is my pattern can you please help me with the narration so everybody can understand what i'm doing absolutely we have this free printable pattern available in our community section right here on youtube make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss more free patterns because we're always putting them out first you're going to trace your pattern on the fabric and cut two pieces out one piece for the top and one for the lining then I'll sew them together with the right sides facing together. You can sew all around the border, leaving a quarter inch seam allowance. Leave the extremities unsewn. Next, I'm going to flip the mask inside out. Pro tip, make sure to really push out all the little corners. Now you can make your top stitch at 1 8 of an inch or a quarter inch. It also helps to iron it in between folds. Then I'll use these corners to guide me to make a tri-fold. And then I'll sew along the top side and then along the bottom side. This kind of reminds me of a little paper boat. Oh yes, exactly. That's the name in Asia. Really? Yes, exactly. That's so cool. Mm -hmm. And you know that this pattern, this mask is originally from Asia. Oh, nice. They call it boat, not paper boat, but yeah, the boat mask. That's adorable. Now fold the edge a little bit and sew it. Then you're going to fold it again over your elastic and sew it to make a case. This elastic should be around nine inches for a regular adult person. You can make it longer or shorter accordingly. Now sew the elastics together to create a loop. Now we will repeat that at the other side. This next step is the tricky part. You will fold the flaps out, making sure that they are parallel to the edges. You can even pin it to make sure it's in place. And you're gonna do this to all four corners. So let's go ahead and sew it in place. It being parallel gives it the 3D structure, so it's very important. And now let's just do the other side. See, I like to go from the center and make like a line because this is kind of a dart. And then I'll go like that. Make sure that this is parallel. And then do the same. Look, my finger here. You see how I do that? Yeah, like that. This is the trickiest part, but after you do that, you are good. A lot of people say they love this style of mask because they have more room to breathe. Nose wire. After you make all the steps mentioned before, you can add a nose wire by adding a piece of lace right before you make the last steps of folding. Let me show you. Take a five inch piece of lace. This one is a little wide, so a shorter one would be better. Fold the edges and sew it on the mask, either on the outside or the inside. It's your choice. I prefer the inside. This is my aluminum nose wire. And then you can just finish your mask as normal.
Look at this beautiful contour around the face. It really seals everything in. A better alternative is to add the nose wire case before you construct your mask. For that, you need a five inch by one and one quarter inch piece of fabric. I like to match it to my outside fabric. Then you're going to fold it in half to find the center. I like to just do a little nip. Then you're going to grab your lining and fold it in half as well to find its center. Then you're going to sew your pieces right sides together at approximately three quarter inches from the edge. Then I fold it like that and sew it again. Now you proceed and you do your mask the same way you will do, you see? This is the top part, so this is the top, so I will do it like that. Before making the flap, secure the piece with a top stitch that's 5 eighths of an inch away from the edge. That will help with a better grip. And you have a nice, elegant nose wire case. The filter pocket. Cut your pocket one inch shorter than the height of the pattern and make it five and a half inches wide. Finish the two sides lengthwise with a double folded hem. Mark your centers with a notch. Do the same thing to the lining of your masks. Sew your pocket to your lining at the edges and you'll notice this little pulling, but that's okay. Look at the pulling, you see, that's okay. Don't worry about that and let's just finish the mask the same way we did the others. Now I'm going to do the trifold and I'll make sure to pull out the pocket so they don't get caught. You'll notice that after I finish the trifold, the pocket doesn't pull anymore. And that's why we needed to make the pocket shorter at the beginning. I'm going to make a top stitch for the nose wire. And what's great about the pocket is that you don't have to add the casing for the nose wire because the pocket already has the fabric that will do this job for you. And look, we now have our pocket and our nose wire casing. Two birds with one stone. And just look at that contour with the pocket. Isn't that nice? Just like we said before, a piece of nine inch elastic will do the job. You can get it one quarter inch wide, five millimeters wide, or one eighth of an inch wide. It just depends on your preference. I mostly use one quarter inch because I feel that it's more durable. I also feel that if the elastic is more narrow, it kind of digs into my ears, so I kind of like it this length. Silicone toggles. You can use these silicone toggles to make your ear loops adjustable. Insert a crochet needle hook through the toggle and then hook your elastic and pull it right through the hole. If you don't have a crochet hook, you can take a sewing needle attached to a thread and then you're going to loop the needle through the toggle and then wrap the thread around the elastic and pull it through the other side of the hole and then you're going to pull that through and unravel your thread just like that this is really great if you're gifting these or if you want it to be adjustable and really hold up throughout the day if you want your three layers but you don't want to have a filter pocket you can purchase this polypropylene material you don't have to cut out an exact replica of the polypropylene you can just cut out the center part so here i marked a little square that's going to fit nicely over the center part so you just have to place it in the center and then sew it right here and then sew your mask as normal and this is what it looks like after you cannot tell at all, but it's an extra layer and it's still lightweight, but it has the filter inside. We also have a pattern for child size masks and it is up on our community section and you make it the exact same way as you do the adult. Well guys, that was all for today. We completed a lot of masks for you and I hope that you like it. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe.